but I think it's a mindset. So, of course, if you start something and say, I can't do it, you won't, you won't be able to do it. It's so having a, a, a positive, having a, an open mind is very key. Because like I said, when I started, not my, my dad didn't want me to do this. But for me, I was driven by my passion. And I just knew exactly that I could be successful in this. And I proved him wrong. And today he's proud because <laughs> it's my name. And like, I told him, if my brand becomes a global brand one day, your name is going to get carried, you know, globally. And it's exciting for him. For sure, uh, one thing I always tell people, the fashion industry, you know, these lights, camera, action, models, beautiful clothing, but they don't realize the back, you know, the back scene, and the back scene is, is it's quite hard. Starting up, I started with a tailor, and it was just me and him, so and as a startup, you manage your everything. So I was the designer, I was the accountant, I was the production manager, I was everything, and it's, it, it's tough, but for me, I know the vision, I know my vision, I know where I, I know what I'm capable of and I know what my brand can do for the continent and what I can, can do for myself. So just having that vision, every time, because there are days where I feel like giving up, you know, you always need money. Money like comes and goes. Uh, so you just have to find ways to be innovative. It's very simple. It's not like they don't even ask you for like a business plan. No, it's just you just go, you register. It's very easy. It's like registering for like an application. So it's very easy. So it's up to you to take it to the next level. Sure. Uh, like that's a very good question because I feel like with technology, like social media, for example, is uh, my way to market my brand. Like, for example, today I'm wearing Sonia Mugabo, I take a photo, post it on Instagram, I say it's available in store, five people come, they buy. So, it's very exciting, but then also I want to have an e-commerce platform where everywhere around the world they can be able to access my, my clothing, but then also find ways to make it um, an experience for me and the user to have that connection. And that's what I'm working on right now. Uh, me being able to, to talk to you right now, uh, I used to, I'm very shy actually. <laughs> so, but with, the, with my business, I've been able to be able to, you know, get in front of the camera. It's, I did not sign up to be a public figure, but I sort of ended up being a public figure. So I guess it taught me how to, um, you know, uh, be confident and, you know, be a woman and say, yes, I can do it. And hopefully inspire young girls, yeah. Wow, <laughs> I see it far. <laughs> um, hopefully, in the and the runways with really big brands, me competing with really really big brands. Like, like I know it's gonna sound ridiculous, but I want to be a competitor of Chanel, of you know, Gucci. Why not? And I feel like I want to be in those fashion runways, and I want my brand on the billboard. For me, I feel like with my country being like a awakening, it's a perfect time to really um, also show that in Rwanda, the country is not just developing, but it also has creative minds that are going up. And I feel like that's the story that I can show. I'm a, I'm a survivor of the Rwanda 1994 genocide against the Tutsi, and that also shows that you can come from nothing to this. Yes. <laughs>